Hey guys, how's it going? Shimmer, aka Baby Sham 33 here. So we're going up today in uh, Season 20, War 2, against the Troublemakers. Hmm, interesting name. <laughs> um, we're back here on Path 4. Scan it out. Um, switched up my teams like, once again to, based on uh, the defenders I'm looking at. And we're going to start off here with a Rhino. Um, they are running uh, Stubborn. Uh, we have decided to build up Fury and Fume and uh, run on Fumes. Rhino is a stubborn, um, is a hashtag defensive um, hero, so going to have to be uh, careful with uh, Dex in. We're going to grow already into this first fight. And of course with... Uh, Rhino, it's also being careful of his um, his ability. Wouldn't it be nice if he was tossed a special? Come on, buddy. Block. Launch our special three. So the snow kind of becomes a little bit tricky. Um, because you're kind of playing keep away from Rhino, and when you give them that kind of space, uh, there is a certain amount of danger um, with him activating his unstoppable. But uh, that Rhino, uh, over six stars on un unawakened. I mean, you still kind of risk it, but uh, now he's got through. Finish up there with that uh, big special two. Let's move on here. Um, and you guys gotta love uh, Garden's perfect block chance. Um, still, even with the parries and so forth that I took, um, still have absolute full health on this. Uh, same thing, along long distance relationship. Um, and the steady build up fury. He is has hashtag defensive, so same thing. Have to watch out for that stubborn node. Um, another six star rank one, Yandu. Of course, uh, Yandu does have that uh, ability where you can't um, parry his medium, but fortunately, um, with Guardian, he can parry um, projectiles. So. Let's see if we can bait out his uh, special one attack here. Good. Bait out his special one. Come on there, buddy. You know you want to use it. There we go. Let's get off our special three. And he does have a special, uh, cool, a really cool special three. Uh, it does take some, you know, unfortunately, it, uh, you would like it to be a little bit faster with regards to the animation, but it's all right. And we need to get that instructable off, so cool. And basically, um, about now, I just, I'll get to my special two, get my special two off. 
shock damage and everything else, even with the weakness, the fight's pretty much over. So, nice way to start the war with the first two fights. I uh, got those done. Uh, I didn't have to boost or anything, so um, now it's, uh, you know, our uh, teammates will uh, clean up these next few fights, and then we'll be back a little bit later. All right, guys. Hey guys, how's it, how's it going? Uh, so we are back, and uh, we're staring down this domino here, and uh, we've got 20% uh, champion boost, health, crumbling armor, force of will, um, foot loose, and uh, kinetic transference. So a lot of stuff that's not very fun. Um, I want to start off here. I'm going to use, I'm going to use this 15% um, attack boost. Uh, Domino is just always a pain in the butt anyway. I'm using this with Guardian. I'm going to use uh, power rate boost. Um, I never use this tech stuff, so let's uh, put it to use. I'm going to use this 20% health boost um, because, well, it's Domino and that um, ability accuracy of hers is, uh, her, that ability of hers is just a pain to deal with. I'm going to be using Guardian. Uh, this is a bit troublesome because of the kinetic transference, so I really have to be on my P's and Q's. Uh, the good thing is I don't have to look out for the stubborn. And I'm going to try this with an advanced power um, boost and try to take advantage of uh, Guardian's abilities. Good. her and I have to be a little bit careful because of the Throw off my special three here. Now, when she throws um, special, she has the ability to go on. Uh, she has she goes unstoppable and evade for several seconds. I need to bait out this special two. There we go. Just taking my time. Good. Bait out the. Crapola. And just go for it. Oh, lucky. So. I didn't want to take that block blocked damage. Um, luckily, she went for the heavy attack. And I was able to get in there and quickly finish it off. So. Happy we didn't give up the uh, the death on that. Like I said, it can be a very tricky fight just because of her abilities in general. And then at the same time, um, you know, she already has her own, you know, built-in lucky with the evade. So, you know, playing around with the node and after her specials, um, luckily we were able to continually just hitting into her block, uh, making her throw heavy attacks. And then at the same time, uh, making sure that she... Um, making sure that she, you know, throws those heavy attacks, you know, giving me myself opening and, and a few, um, you know, well-timed intercepts. So uh, I'm going to be moving into section two here. 
Just uh, give me one second. My uh, teammate's going to go open the path up so I can have enough energy. All right, guys. So let's uh, rock and roll. So, so now we have a spider Gwen, and this is steady build up on blockable. So once you have a certain amount of debuffs on you, um, she, she goes unblockable. Uh, you also have stubborn for the defensive tactics. Um, she is a hashtag defensive. I'm going to do this with Quake, and it's just basically going to be um, Quake and Parry because um, of the spry. You know, I'm not worried about actually hitting her. And I just have to make sure that my parries are on time. A little bit. Now that should do it. Awesome. So, didn't even want to let her recover. Um, as you can see, uh, just two hits and the amount of damage that did is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, but uh, it, it, we got it done uh, without uh, giving up a death. So awesome. Uh, we've got this Havoc here. Got steady build up unblockable crumbling armor. Um, he's not a stubborn defender. So you just have to watch out, play it uh, cautiously. Take your time with the fight. And that's not the way you want to start off with. Okay, let's just uh, shake it off and get back into this. Good. So now we're starting to get our parries. Awesome. There we go. special three but I'm not even using it yet gotta throw this heavy attack we're uh, doing what we need to do now let's bait that out and with Havoc is like you have to be very careful because his uh, first attack doesn't make contact so you can't parry his medium attacks and there's a lot of times where you think that uh, you have, um, you know, the parry. Maybe if he's coming in with, uh, you know, you you think you come in, uh, or you know, what will happen is you you know the first hit is a medium. Um, he goes for the second hit, and let's just finish this off with special three. And. Um, you know, he does, he goes in for the second hit and it ends up being a double medium. And, you know, I've made the mistake plenty of times where, you know, I will let up um, thinking like, all right, you know, second hit, you know, it's going to be, you know, medium light attack. And I parried, you know, and just not even thinking about it on the reparry, you go back in and the next thing you know, you get stunned. So... Um, just something to always look out for when um, when fighting havoc, knowing that you know, like I said, on that second attack, uh, sometimes it might be a medium medium, and you will get caught. And sometimes you have to be careful uh, with getting caught by that heavy attack where maybe he mediums and then he goes for a heavy attack where you were, you know, kind of. Um, you, 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 you know, you're based on a regular play style. You're waiting for that second, you know, that second light attack or medium. And that's what happened at the beginning of the fight, you know. I was looking for that, um, 
that attack and I end up getting caught with uh, heavy attack but you just keep your senses about you um, play your game and you know just kind of shake it off and like all right get back into the fight you know sometimes you have crumbling armor and everything else going on around you know happening you start getting caught up in all that stuff just get back into the fight shake it off and just go back to um, to point one and continue fighting so uh, good start to the uh, to the whole uh, to the alliance war uh, proud of our performance so far and uh, be back later hey good morning guys um, so we are back um, finish up our path we have this doctor doom in front of us uh, it snowed uh, you do have aspect of evolution 300% um, health uh, to 200% uh, attack and health so enhance special 2 and special 2 by sort of improved power gain Dr. Doom is a stubborn defender, <clears throat> so something to always uh, keep in mind and watch out for for pl with playing him. But we can definitely do Quake here, um, as I've done in the past. And um, with a stubborn, um, you just basically have to um, parry. So let's uh, get this rolling off here. See how the AI is doing. Uh, playing passive. Backing up, and I purposely want to start getting back to my corner here, which will make uh, parrying and a lot easier. Instead of trying to do it in the middle of the screen. That's it. Cool. I got uh, tagged there, um, but I just made sure to kind of keep my wits about me. You know, didn't uh, do anything fancy about it. It's just whatever. It is what it is. It was the parry. And uh, where it was basically a light, light attack. Uh, those light attacks come to you much faster than the mediums. Uh, so, um, did get caught there, but... Uh, we went ahead and we got him down without giving up any debt. So, um, you know, we came into that fight um, perfect for the war. And we definitely wanted to finish up um, perfect. So, just to recap over the over the war. Now, we started out um, the first fight against that Rhino. Uh, definitely was not uh, too bad at all. Rhino is tricky because with the, with the weakness node, um, when you're close to him, you get those weaknesses on you. He builds his fury up. Um, Rhino, you have to be very careful because especially when you're playing him from a distance, uh, so you're not being inflicted with those weakness debuffs. When he charges in, he has an unstoppable, and uh, he does have a chance to be unblockable. Luckily, he was unawakened, so, um, you know, those chances are uh, reduced, I believe, based on Rhino's. Uh, Awakening abilities. I couldn't do it with Quake because he's a he is a stubborn defender. Um, I said uh, you don't really want to be playing uh, Quake parry style, I guess, with Rhino, because that uh, charging in with those uh, mediums it is unstoppable um, and can go go unblockable. But uh, really had a nice showing of Guardian, who I was able to bring out for this war first time, bringing him into war. And uh, it was a good experience. We had Yandu up. I used Guardian again. And uh, it was good because with Guardian's, Guardian's Awakened ability, um, he basically reduces uh, bleed damage. So even one, he can parry, um, you know, projectiles. So first off the bat, make parry and Yandu wasn't a problem. And second off, because with his Awakened ability, um, he takes um, reduced bleed if um, he, he takes reduced bleed. So even if um, I got a bleed on me from Yandu's Yaka arrow, 
I was basically healing up anyway. Um, so uh, pretty much I was able to just, you know, uh, it, it, it didn't matter. Coming down, we had that domino. Uh, domino is always tricky uh, because of her raid chances. That node, you have mixed master. So after, you know, um, not mixed master. Um, some aspect of evolution after she throws a special. Um, she goes like on uh, unstoppable and she has unblockable. I'm sorry, not unblockable, but she can evade after uh, for seven seconds afterwards after throwing a special. Mixed with kinetic transference, uh, three, she's gaining 10% of her bar of power every time that she makes contact. And if you perfect block, um, that goes up. So being very careful, not really um, trying to let her hit into me. Bait not heavy attacks and so forth. At the end, she did get that heavy. <laughs> she did get that special three, um, but luckily we were able to kind of get in there sneakily and uh, and finish her off. But you know, can't, coming out of that, uh, Red Guardian still pretty much full bar of health against a Domino. That is very difficult. Um, like I said, uh, fighting a Domino and coming out with that with, with pretty much a full bar bar of health. Um, because of the way that uh, her ability works. So, went over to Spider Gwen, uh, playing her with Quake. I uh, did very well. Took two hits and took off a lot of my help, um, which is just Alliance War in general. Then we had the uh, Warlock. We made sure we kept our sense. We got hit with heavy attack, but we kept our senses about us and played very well to finish that. And then, we, of course, we finished off with that Doom fight. Um, also just kind of, you know, like I said, on stubborn, you can definitely, as long as it's not unblockable, you can definitely go ahead and, um, as long as it's not unblockable, you can definitely go ahead and, uh, and get some good action in, uh, with Quake, um, especially against, against Doom, but you just parries have to be on point. And then at the same time, you want to back up all the way to your corner to make, um, those, you know, heavy par that, that heavy parry a lot more, more seamless. But that is the war for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please don't forget to hit the like button, uh, comment, um, make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications turned off. Uh, with that said, have a blessed day.